Hi my lovely people. So I'm in a little bit of a test situation today because some of my friends think that I act a little old for my age and that I can't speak their language. So they've given me like a bunch of these millennial abbreviations to see if I can get it right or not, which I'm sure I will. So let's get right into this because I can't wait to prove them wrong. So the first one is Okay. Guys, are you serious? <laughs> NGL, not gonna lie, very basic one, and NGL, but my friends surely have very little faith in me. The second one is, if you know, you know, another very basic abbreviation. This is me every single Friday, and TGIF is, thank God, it's Friday. <laughs> FOMO, okay, you know what I feel? FOMO isn't even like an abbreviation anymore, it's just something that all of us experience, and it's the fear of missing out. And the last one is one of my favorites that I use a lot, OOTD, which is your outfit of the day. And my OOTD is very casually gorgeous today and I'm loving it. You know what? I actually nailed it, don't you guys think? I mean, I just aced it all. But now it's your turn. We're going to reverse the tables. And you tell me what's the full form of this abbreviation that I'm going to give you. And it is HPV. BTW, which is by the way, this isn't an age thing, okay? I mean, whether you're young or you're old, this is one of those abbreviations that you ought to know. Because HPV or the human papilloma virus is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections or STIs as we call them that can affect about 80% of the sexually active people and can cause vaginal, cervical, vulvar or anal cancer in women. Sounds scary. Yes. Is it preventable? Yes. How? This TTA. TTA. Thought you knew it all. Talk to an expert. TTA ni pata. You know, what I'm trying to say is that awareness isn't enough. To prevent HPV related cancers and diseases, you can either consult your gynac or you can visit nomorehpv.com and talk to an expert. So go ahead and know more about HPV. See ya. TTYL.